Hello friends, in this video we will be making 2,4 dihydroxy benzoic acid by the carboxylation of resorcinol. Two for dihydroxy benzoic acid or beta resorcylic acid is a resorcylic acid with large number of applications. It possesses antioxidant and free radical scavenging properties. Materials required for this preparation include 25 grams of sodium bicarbonate, 5.9 grams of resorcinol, and 29 milliliters of 37% hydrochloric acid. Start by fixing a small 100 milliliter round bottom flask on stand and start adding the sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate otherwise called baking soda into it. On top of that was added 5.9 grams of resorcinol. Pure resorcinol forms colorless crystals on exposure to air and light it turns to a pale red color. That is not a, actually a problem here and it will not affect the reaction. Now 60 ml of distilled water was added and it was mixed well. I used a spatula to just mechanically stir the compounds around. Next we place the flask in an oil bath and then heat and continuously stir the flask at 95 to 100 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. What is happening here is called the Kolbe-Schmidt reaction where the phenolates are carboxylated to form the carboxylic acid. Generally this carboxylation takes place at the ortho position. This reaction usually needs very high temperatures and high pressures for monohydric phenols but for di and trihydric phenols this reaction takes place conveniently. Thus resorcinol gets carboxylated to form 2,4 dihydroxybenzoic acid also called beta resorcylic acid. After 2 hours the temperature was elevated to 130 degrees Celsius and reflexed for another 15 minutes. This will ensure the complete carboxylation. After 15 minutes the flask was let to cool down to room temperature and the contents were transferred to a large 500 milliliter beaker. You can clearly see some crystals have already formed in the flask. Those crystals were washed down to the same beaker with some cold distilled water. Now 29 milliliters of the 37% hydrochloric acid was added to the beaker with a pipette with stirring. Care must be taken and add the acid in small amounts as a lot of frothing can take place in this reaction as the carbon dioxide gas is released. This will cause the resorcylic acid to be protonated and the free acid and sodium chloride is formed. Resorcylic acid precipitates out of the solution as a off-white colored powder. The beaker was then placed overnight for complete crystallization to take place. It was then filtered using simple gravity filtration method. This is the crude product that was obtained. It was then dissolved in very minimum amount of hot water and was recrystallized. On cooling, needle shaped crystals of 2,4 dihydroxybenzoic acid separates out. It was then taken out of the beaker and was dried. If you want you can again do a recrystallization to get much fine product but I didn't care doing that. So yeah basically that's all in this video and these are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I can do much more videos. You can also support me via Patreon or Paypal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Also do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications and I will see you in the next video.